episode 131 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing a musical drama film that came out in 1973 that is directed by Norman Jewison, and that stars Ten Neely, Carl Anderson, and Yvonne Elliman, and that is based on the famous Broadway rock opera musical of the same name, and that movie is Jesus Christ Superstar. Okay, so this rock opera musical has just started, and so far, I am already liking the soundtrack. I am also liking this first musical number, which is Heaven on Their Minds. To be exact, it's being sung by Judas, one of our titular character's disciples, played by Carl Anderson. So our titular character, Jesus Christ, played by Ted Neely, has just made his first appearance. He definitely makes a great Jesus Christ in this one. Everything's Alright is now playing in the background. I've often heard my sister Dana sing that over the years. For a movie that first came out in 1973, this movie has some pretty spectacular costume and set designs. Wow, that's some pretty impressive dancing from part of our main cast that we are seeing right there. Judas is now singing Dan for all time as he is showing his worries about Jesus Christ to the priests all around him. So we now shift to that famous Last Supper of Jesus Christ, which in here is set in an outdoor garden. We are now an hour into this movie, and so far, even Jesus Christ himself here has a great singing voice. Yikes! Jesus Christ is worried about the fate that awaits him, which of course is the infamous crucifixion. He is also worried about being betrayed by Judas, one of his disciples as well. That's not a good situation for him to be in. Now one of his followers, Mary Magdalene, played by Yvonne Elliman, wishes that it had not wound up like this, and just saying, could we start again, please? Judas has now committed suicide by hanging himself from a tree. That's a too bad. Oh dear, Jesus Christ is now being lashed. That must be a painful experience for him to endure. To be exact, he received 39 lashes. Oh my goodness, here comes that famous superstar musical number. I feel like singing along to that right now. Now we are seeing him being crucified. That was a pretty terrible thing for him to go through. As we get closer to the end of this musical, it is revealed that all this was a biblical reenactment as all the people performing it have left on a bus. Overall, Jesus Christ Superstar is a very good adaptation of the famous Broadway musical of the same name by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Join me next time when I review Monty Python's Life of Brian. I'm Flick James Flick. Your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.